Hi everyone, uh, this video is made for my uh, project STIW2044 uh, mobile programming. Uh, so I developed a project about the card RAM. Um, so I'm gonna explain about the interface, uh, about the layout. So uh, I'm using Firebase inside the uh, project so i'm using the authentic authentication and then uh, real-time database from the firebase and also the storage for store the image so let's start about the interface so i have the interface about uh, for the login page so all right i'm gonna explain about the what actually the uh, project is it's about the car rental <clears throat> so the user will able to find a car or find uh, rent their car for the other uh, user <clears throat> so this is the main interface the login page and then here in the android studio using android android studio for develop the project here the, in the android studio for the um, login page or uh, activity main uh, the design is like this and then oops sorry first we are inside the login page after successfully login, it will uh, straight uh, show the user the sign up uh, activity. So in the sign up, the, in the sign up sign up activity, it will show the user um, to fill the form. That require the user to fill it. So, in order to show it in the the uh, in the activity main. So, the first time they register, it will show the user to fill the form, the image add the text and extra and then it will straight uh, to the page main after they uh, register their user so in the page main here i'm using the list view and then uh, image view image view for show the user uh, image and the data from here will be stored in the Firebase uh, um, real-time database so it will store as the um, customer details uh, I mean the user details in the table so I here I uh, clear all the field in the firebase database so we can see how the uh, project works so here i'm using the list view and then for and also two buttons so in the run my car buttons it will show uh, and this activity so <clears throat> if you want if the user want to render car it will show the uh, rent my car activity that actually uh, require the user to input uh, the picture of the of their car and then their name and then the details about the car 
and also the context the, the context for the uh, owner and after that after this finish or the user is submit it will uh, back in time to the page main <clears throat> and it will show the result here oh sorry not this one i mean this one so here will be show all the list of the uh, cars owner the cars owner is take taken from uh, this page so every cars owner every a user that input their cars detail will be shown in the list view here and then uh, it be it will be uh, used for by the customer when we want to book a car so let's say we want to book a car and it will show this page first this activity first so it will show all the list of the car that uh, that can be run and then after that after we choose one of the item here it will show the user this page i mean the customer this page so it, this uh, this field here show the car that been that have been selected by the the customer so after that the customer required to fill the form like their name contact uh, when they want to use the car the time and then the date that they want to use and then their license numbers so all right let's try to restart uh, with the AVD so let's say because in here I have no data yet uh, so that means there's no uh, user so we cannot sign in yet <clears throat> so we need to register it's actually this is um, <clears throat> this field mm, I'm not specify uh, about the username but this field is required the email address so we can type anything like a a a a a a dot com because i'm not i'm not specify the email address yet so all right let's say i want to input my email address at gmail.com so the password is abc123 so because we haven't uh, let's start so authentic on authentication field because we have no data inside the, our firebase authentication yet so there is no user can be signed in here so let's register our email address and our password So here, it will allow the apps auto, uh, authenticate, authenticate the user automatically. So here is the data taken for the username and I mean the email address and the password. So here, it register already sign and then it gave uh, the user id the the firebase will generate the um, id for the user the unique id i mean uh, for allow us to call the user so let's input our uh, details 
let's say that's I have no other picture than that in my MED. So let's input our details. Sorry. ABC one two three metric number is two one one. This is mean our dormitory. Goes by T. Let's register. It will it will allow the user uh, the store data uh, to store their details into database so you see here i before i have no data inside my firebase and now i have uh, data that i uh, have input inside my application so see here the firebase will automatically generate the unique uh, key for the user for the data i mean uh, so it will call the uh, it will allow us to call the data from the database inside our application so because we have no uh, i mean I, we have no data yet for the uh, customer so it, it will not show anything yet so let's start Let's say we want to rent the car. Uh, we want to rent our car, so we could put our picture, as I mentioned before. Okay, our name. Uh, our uh, car merit, Toyota, let's say Toyota. Plate number. Our contact. So, all right. Let's submit. So it will generate the. Uh, it will send the details into our Firebase database, and it will make a new uh, table inside the Firebase database. So, also generate the uh, unique key. Here is the image URL that we store our image. Oh, I forgot to mention about the about the story. So when we first, I mean here, when we complete our uh, details, it will store store the image into the storage and also into the Firebase database so the Firebase database uh, will take the image URL and image URL and then for the image will be stored inside the file that called user for the uh, details for the details and then for Rent my car. Uh, it will store the image into the car's owner. <clears throat> so here, our image that will store actually all the same image, but it will store and make uh, all the list of car image inside the storage. All right. Let's continue. So. Here, it will store the list of all the uh, cars owner that have, that want to rent their car. So let's say we want to book our car. Book a car. I mean, after we successful store our data. Um, for the car's owner, 
the data will be shown in the list view uh, when the when the user want to book a car so for the customer will be should be a can select any car they want to rent so let's say we want to book this car here the data will be shown in the s here so any car that we choose from field sorry any car that we choose from this field will be shown in here oops on again here any data any that shown in the list that being choose by the user by the customer will be shown in here about the current details so we need to input our data for book the car to book uh, this car uh, let's say alex contact is zero 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 so this is the use time let's say we want to use this and book date this june and our license number and any license number here after we successfully booking it will show the it will post the message for the user that successful and also in the firebase database they will uh, it will create the new field for the customer and then generate generate the new uh, ID, uh, key the unique key it's different every unique key is different that generated by the various database so here the data the data that will that uh, we successfully added so after we book the car it will shown here it will show uh, in the page main and here in, in the first page in the uh, in the list view here so all the customer that book the car will be shown in the uh, list view here so the user will be able to see to see any customer that want to uh, that find the that book the that booking the car so this is for the first part after for the second part i will explain about the Funny. Thank you.